Hey everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again. And today I am here at Animal Kingdom to take you and show you a few of my favorite things. What better park to have an adventure and show you some of my favorite things than here at the wildest park on Disney property, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, if you've been with me, you know that my favorite things are not the big obvious things. They are things that add to the detail and the tapestry and the background of the parks that enrich your visit when you come. So these things might be a little off the beaten path. There might be some big timers, but you'll have to come with me and find out. Come with me, I got you, let's go do this. Now, I know that we normally never do big heavy hitters when it comes to my favorite things, but this one is going to be sort of on the side because you cannot come to Animal Kingdom and experience Animal Kingdom without going on a safari in Africa at Kilimanjaro Safari. I absolutely love this. I love animals. We're gonna take a safari together this morning. It is definitely one of my favorite things. One of my favorite things inside of one of my favorite things here in the Kilimanjaro Safari line is the, the ride queue is really cool. It makes it feel like you're going into the jungle, but the little things that they do are my favorite, like piping in the sounds of animals all around you in hidden speakers out in the, the woods and the vegetation so that it sounds like animals are all around you and it sort of immerses you into the environment and it's just those little details that are some of my favorite things and to me it sets Disney apart and it's all about what Disney should be. The devil's in the details and these details are some of my favorites. Time to take off on one of my favorite things, the Kilimanjaro Safari. Thank you, Jumbo, everyone. My name is Tani and I'll be your safari driver here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve today. For everyone's safety, make sure we remain fully seated with hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck at all times. Look to the left as we make this turn. You might see some black and white birds up on the hill there. Those are saddle-built storks. They're going to be around five feet tall. And unlike other birds, they're not actually going to tweet or chirp. They're just going to rattle their beaks together. To and they bring the babies. <laughs> Stork. Okay, so all the trees out here are going to be roughly trimmed to the same height. That's going to be giraffe height. We have Maasai giraffes out here, and they're going to stand 16 to 20 feet tall, so around the same length as those crocodiles. Their necks alone are going to be about six feet long, but they have the same number of vertebrae that we have in our necks. Theirs are just much, much larger. My absolute favorite thing about giraffes is the fact that they have purple tongues. It's because they spend around 18 hours of the day purple eating. Tongue. If their tongues weren't purple, they would constantly be getting sunburned. Each one's going to have a completely unique coat pattern, which is going to help them to recognize each other even from a distance. And that probably speeds up their morning routine quite a bit because they're not going to start their day until they've greeted every single member of their pack. Comes their a giraffe. Down the ground, so those horns are up and out. And that's going to protect the herd from all angles. Coming up on one of those Maasai giraffes. And we spent so much time out What made the giraffe cross the road? a lot of time for sleeping. So giraffes only sleep for around 90 minutes each day, and they're not even going to do it all at the same time. They're going to take a couple 20 to 30 minute power naps to make that up. 90 minute nap. It's like they Buddy the Elf, water Will very Ferrell. Often. Only once every 45 four minutes. Days. Positions. They're going to avoid it for as long as they can. Some zebra. Uh, one time they do drink water, they're going to drink up to 10 gallons. Beehive fences around their property and this work absolute wonders. The elephants would hear the bees and stay as far away as possible. This kept the crop safe from the elephants. The elephants are afraid of bees. Who knew? There's kind of three different group dynamics for elephants, or three different dynamics, I should say. 
So I mentioned earlier that uh, females will never be alone. They're typically going to stay with their family herd. That's going to consist of all the adult females and all of the children. They're going to stay there for their whole life. But when males reach maturity, they'll either go off on their own or they'll join a small bachelor herd. Sweet flamingos. Just another reason that I love to this roll around in mud wallows like we see on the left. We are off Kilimanjaro Safari and that is definitely one of my favorite things. But it's kind of outside of what we normally do on Chase's favorite things, so that's a big one uh, that we had to put on the list just because the animals are near and dear to my heart. I love it. Uh, I love everything about that ride or safari. And uh, we're going to find some things that are a little off the beaten path. Some different things that are some of my favorites here at Animal Kingdom. Now, another one of my favorite things at Animal Kingdom is something that maybe you don't think of, but it is constantly all around you when you are here, and that is the theming. I think this is the most immersive and most heavily themed park. I think um, if you are judging parks on which one has the best theming overall that completely goes in and immerses you, it is Animal Kingdom. And Joe Rohde is to thank for that because they gave him this park and he went nuts with it. They went to Africa and checked out real areas. They went all over the world to India and got like authentic inspiration to create this park. So they create a park that is new but looks like it's been here forever like things like the copper pipes that are are uh eroded and it's it's meant to look like that like you wouldn't you wouldn't have that in a park but you do have that in a park and things that you maybe don't ever even see or even realize you're seeing that immerse you in the theme and i that is definitely one of my favorite things here is the theming of this park I'm going to try to point out some things to you as we go around and just show you beautiful images throughout. And I'll say this is more of the theming here that I was talking about. This is my favorite thing whenever I come across something. But the theming here is definitely one of my favorite things. The Tree of Life definitely plays into the theming here. It is constructed using the base of an offshore deep sea oil rig. And then the tree is sculpted around it. It has tons of animals sculpted in it. Obviously, it has a Bug's Life inside of it. They just announced that Bug's Life is going to be re-themed. It's going to be something else. But it has been here since the opening, and the tree is magnificent. So there is one of the theming things that is my favorite. You have to love the tree of life it is spectacular. The amount of detail that goes into that is incomprehensible. All the uh, animals carved into it, you could just spend hours sitting there looking, trying to identify them all. It is absolutely amazing. Now we are headed over into Asia. This area looks like sort of a Asian Himalayan market. Even the detail of the signs, how they look weathered and older, that is attention to detail, theming. You don't necessarily have to go that hard or that detailed, but they do. And that's why the theming is one of my favorite things, and I'll point out more and more stuff as we go. Talk about theming. How about building a scale model of Everest here and putting a roller coaster in it? it? Doesn't get much better than that. Here's more beautiful theming. The sun coming over 
there's the Everest. I love the flags. It's like an Asian market through here in the Himalayas. And you're on your way to take on the Yeti at Expedition Everest. Absolutely fantastic. Something that is unapologetically one of my favorite things here at Animal Kingdom is Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks location here. Uh, hello. And when you have to get up early to make these early hours at Animal Kingdom, because they keep early hours open and closed, you need some coffee sometimes, and Starbucks has the best to wake you up and get you going. I love Joffrey's, but I love me some Creature Comforts. It is one of my favorite things. We're gonna get us something to drink here right now. Definitely one of my favorite things here. Sort of like a bonus favorite thing, uh, because you can get Starbucks anywhere, but it's a really big place in here. It's really well themed. Uh, Animal Kingdom, like I said, it keeps early hours. Uh, early road drop this morning was 7.30 a.m., so you have to get up early to get here to be here for that. So sometimes you're just looking for a coffee, something to get you warm, get you going, get you going on your day, and Creature Comforts has it. I got nothing fancy. I just got a Grande Pike Roast here. That is my go-to drink, unless I'm getting a... Uh, pumpkin cream cold brew which I have been known to uh, procure every now and then but this morning this early it's just some coffee and it is one of my favorite things and it will power me through to take you on a trip to find the rest of my favorite things all right I have my creature comforts coffee uh, from Starbucks over here. That is a bonus. One of my little favorite things here at Animal Kingdom Park. I'm going to enjoy this and then we're going to find some more of my favorite things. Cheers. Another one of my favorite things here at Animal Kingdom is the Tree of Life Garden. Now a lot of times people pass this very easily. They don't know that it's here. Uh, they don't pay attention. They don't come back here. So it's quiet, but it's an area where you can just come back in here and look at the beautiful garden, get really close to the tree of life back here. And most people, they're passing it real quick on their way to Africa uh, to get to the big rides over there or to uh, the Lion King show and they walk right by it. But it's so beautiful and peaceful and immersive. I definitely recommend that you come back here and check it out. Let's take a look. This is the perfect thing to go with my other favorite thing. You grab yourself a coffee or drink from Creature Comforts and you just walk back here and look around. Sip your drink and take in the beauty of Animal Kingdom. This is crazy. I, I'm not even seeing anyone else back here. It's like you have a little part of the park all to yourself. Look. We got some animals. Look right there. No hopping around, just laying down. Beautiful vegetation everywhere. Look at that. And of course, the other thing you get to do back here is get an up close look at the Tree of Life which goes into my other favorite thing, which is theming. You can take a really good close look at the theming back here because you can spot some of the animals up close on the Tree of Life for yourself. We'll see if we can find a, a couple. I have three favorite things going on at once. I have a drink from Preacher Comforts. I'm on the uh, Tree of Life garden trail and I get to check out the theming in the Tree of Life. It's very symbiotic. It's in the perfect favorite things ecosystem just like this balanced, beautiful ecosystem here at the Animal Kingdom. Let's take a look. I see an ant. 
I see a bear. I see a beaver. I think that's a whale over there. I see a tiger. So beautiful. Standing underneath it, you really get some scope of how big it is. You could stand here all day and try to pick out animals. Uh, we're going to continue on through the rest of the garden here and then on to more of our favorite things. But this is a beautiful thing you don't want to miss. How about a tunnel under a waterfall? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the backside of water. The eighth wonder of the world. Who knew you could also get to see the backside of water here at Animal Kingdom Park and not just on the Jungle Cruise at Magic Kingdom? Well, all you got to do is take a little walk through the Tree of Life Garden Trail and you can check out the backside of the water for your very self, up close and personal. All right, it is time to exit the Tree of Life Garden. We're going to go find more of my favorite things. Now, if you watch my favorite things, you know that usually I have my favorite shops included. And there's going to be a couple of those here on this list. My favorite big shop here at Animal Kingdom is the Discover Trading Company right here at the front of the park, kind of like uh, beside Flame Tree Barbecue and everything right here at the very um, beginning of the park in the shadow of the tree. Let's go in and take a look. I already see some cool Moana. I love, obviously a lot of you know, resort-themed merchandise, resort-themed food, park-themed food, park-themed drinks. And I love park themed merchandise that are specific to an area. And you can get a lot of that in here at Animal Kingdom. Let's take a look. Right up front when you come in, we got a Mickey Animal Kingdom shirt. A lounge fly Animal Kingdom backpack with the tree of life on it. For all you dads out there, we have the uh, ironic Animal Kingdom Hawaiian shirt. We've got blankets. We've got a little serving dish. Pillows. We've got some special Animal Kingdom ears with the Tree of Life in the center. A ladies mini Animal Kingdom shirt. As you see, I'm just a couple steps inside the door here at the trading company and I'm already covered with uh, park specific merchandise. That's really cool, I love that. I love the fact that the theme of Animal Kingdom is all through here. It's all the woods, the carvings, the carvings of the animals, the beautiful architecture. Let me show you. I mean, this is a gift shop. And look at the detail and the art and the beauty of the carvings. Look at that chandelier. My mom would love to have that bear chandelier in her cabin in North Georgia mountains. Just absolutely beautiful natural materials, wood and stonework. The floor is natural stone. It really, having everything being earth materials, wood and stone, uh, things like that, 
that really kind of adds to it. Uh, gives you that feel of being immersed here in the Animal Kingdom. That's one of the reasons I love this store. I also love this store because it's huge. And if you're looking for something to take home that is like Disney produced, uh, this is the store to find it. Now, there's some cool little shops over in the Harambe Village that have a little bit more authentic leaning items, and we'll check that out. But this one is my favorite if you want some of the big stuff. They even have the Eras collection, and this is a lamp that I really want. Look at that lamp. I may have to have that. I'm going to get my discount on that. That could come home with me and sit on my desk. It's pretty epic. But look, this store goes on both ways. A long way. As far as you can see, that direction is this store. And as far as you can see, that direction and beyond, because it turns a corner over there, is this store. We're not going to spend a lot more time in here looking around. I found some great park-specific merchandise, but if you get a chance, make sure you come up here and check out this store. It is my favorite big store on property here in the uh, Animal Kingdom Park, and it is definitely one of my favorite things. I love the specific stuff. Those are all favorite things so when you combine that with a beautiful store you're gonna get me always so it's definitely on our list up here make sure you stop by the trading company and I'm gonna shop around and then we're gonna continue on looking for some more of my favorite things when it comes to theming as one of my favorite things I think Africa is one of the most authentically themed and just immersive places in Animal Kingdom obviously Pandora is uh, otherworldly but that's not a real environment this is recreating a real environment and it's impressive the theming is just second to nothing Tusker House one of my favorite character meals by the way Tamu Tamu We are headed over here in Africa, in Harambe Village, to one of my other favorite things, and that is the Mombasa Marketplace. This has a little bit more of an authentic, like African vibe, like with your souvenirs and everything. Of course, everything runs through a Disney prism, uh, so everything's not completely authentic, but this is more uh, of your unique gift items in here. Of course, they do have some of the Sanders stuff, but I really love the novelties that they have in here. As it says, we have the Lion King novelties and such. Enjoy. Let's go enjoy one of my favorite things. And right off the bat with some Lion King novelties. Lion King stuff everywhere. Would you like a tail? And of course, they have the Lion King novelties, as they say. But they also have some more interesting and unique items. Let's take a look at those. Check out these plants. Plants can be transported by plane anywhere in the continental United States, except for California, Arizona, and Texas. They will even pack for you to carry it in your luggage. They come in these beautiful, in these beautiful glass and pottery animals. I love it. How about a hippo or an elephant? About a green elephant. Maybe a turtle. Very cool. 
that is a very different and more unique gift. Let's see if we can find some other stuff. I already see a few things. Um, if you've ever stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge, one of my favorite things there is the actual hand-carved um, animals that the artisans sit there and carve in front of you. I absolutely love those. Let's see if we can find anything like that here. We have some African masks. It's like a zebra. You got your elephant down there. Maybe that's a cheetah. A wooden wind chime. And of course, if you want to look like an adventurer, this is the place to come. A little almost Indiana Jones flavor. You can get you a vest with a hat and complete the ensemble. And when you exit, if you exit the right way, you can go straight through Zuri's sweet shop and uh, maybe get you some spicy chili infused chocolate. Here's Zuri's sweets. Before you exit Zuri Suites, you'll see that they have a few more items in here that are kind of unique that you don't see anywhere else in the park. And uh, I think it's supposed to be a handmade lion. Check these out. Across Africa brand, Kazi. Here is the story behind these handmade animals here. My name is Spiswazi. Spiswazi, I think. I'm probably butchering that. It says, I'm a single mother. Thanks to the income I receive from leaving, I've been able to buy land, build my home, and install lighting. I'm proud of how I've been able to provide such great things and like to think I am an inspiration to the community as a cooperative leader. My dream is to see my children attend the university. So there is a picture of her weaving about this product. The laughter of a child lights up the house, Swahili proverb. Bring a smile to their face and laughter to their home, handcrafted in Uganda from natural materials. These whimsical animals are a wonderful gift for the animal lover in your life. So these are handmade. You know the story of the person who makes them. You know where a portion of the money, at least a portion of the money goes. And you get a background story. That is super unique, super worth the trip in here to the market. You gotta check it out. That would make a great gift. You can't just get that anywhere in any shop or online Disney. You gotta be here. That makes it special. That makes it one of my favorite things. Another one of my favorite things here at Animal Kingdom is happening right now in Harambe Village, and that is the street performances that are amazing. Okay. Here we go, take a look.
The street performances are definitely one of my favorite things. You can catch them off and on all day. Very talented performers and musicians out there. It adds some real authentic depth and vibes to the area and right there in such a heavily themed area which is one of my favorite things uh, in the Harambe village it's very cool it makes it very immersive it transports you to another place and time and that is one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite things I love going somewhere else in my mind and forgetting about everything else and being where your feet are and enjoying life and enjoying it right now and that definitely helps to do it those are the type of things i look for at the parks and it's definitely one of my favorite things now let's go find one more of my favorite things the last one on this first set of favorite things here at disney's animal kingdom park it's a good one let's go get it now we are over here at Flame Tree Barbecue to get one of my favorite things. They definitely have one of my favorite things here. We're gonna wrap it up over here, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I get it. All I can say is that rookies often make a mistake here at Flame Tree Barbecue, but the pros know where to go. You'll see it when I get it. It is one of my favorite things. All right, we are down here at Flame Tree Barbecue. Uh, seated in the shadow of Everest right over there. Take a look. There is Everest seated down here by the water. And I have come here for one of my favorite things. Now the joke here is that rookies get ribs and pros get the pulled pork. But not just any pulled pork. You get the pulled pork barbecue macaroni and cheese. So it's a baked macaroni and cheese with shredded pulled pork on top, coleslaw, two big crispy onion rings, and barbecue sauce drizzled across the top. It is one of my favorite things. It, in my opinion, is the best thing you can get at Flame Tree Barbecue and one of the best quick service options here in all of Animal Kingdom. It is definitely a great way to close out our favorite things list. Let's take a look and give it a try. Look at that. That is a huge portion for $12.49. Oh, look at that cheese pull. Delicious. Only thing left to do is try it. It is so good every time. The pork is done perfectly. It's juicy and tender. The macaroni and cheese is one of the best macaroni and cheeses on property up there close to Tusker House. Very similar, but Tusker House is still my number one. The coleslaw adds the crispiness and acidity. Then of course you're gonna have that barbecue sauce cutting through there with some smoky flavor. You got your onion rings on top, crispy, fried to top it off. What's not to love? It is one of my favorite things and a great way to close out our favorite things here at Animal Kingdom. I'm going to eat it and then I'll be back to say goodbye. All right, adventurers, that's going to do it for our favorite things here at Animal Kingdom Park video. I hope you've enjoyed looking uh, at some of my favorite things. I always really enjoy sharing these videos because when I share some of my favorite things that are maybe off the beaten path a little bit, it like adds to my enjoyment because I, I share with you, same way I share with my family and friends, things that I enjoy that maybe they miss. And if they get enjoyment out of it, if you get enjoyment out of it, that increases my enjoyment of it. And uh, I just really love doing these videos. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. It helps me out. It helps me continue to go on these adventures. And until next time, this is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. What are some of your favorite things? Let me know. See you later.